Yo guys, how are we doing tonight? Hey guys, how's it going? It is seven o'clock, well kind of, just about seven o'clock, and you're with Lady Ash and Lord Ash. Lord Ash. Definitely in the house. The Lord. Exactly, exactly. So um, we are live today, I am just making sure that we are all up and running on the uh, Facebook here, we should well be, on the old business page. Um, so how has your day been? Hopefully it's been good. You've just finished PT, haven't you? It's been a busy day today. It's been, it's been a, busy a busy morning, very productive, which is awesome. We went out for a bite to eat lunchtime, which was really cool. Um, enjoyed that. Went to, where did we go? Cafe Desamillo in Canterbury, didn't we? Cafe Desamillo from Canterbury. Here comes our cat, literally. Love it, let's mute that. Yeah, heavy. Hello, mate, come on. You're coming up, say hi. <clears throat> so you join us this evening that's it, attack here, let's pull him in. So you join us this evening in the hypno, hypno room. room. This is our hypnosis room where we have people and we hypnotise them to change Hef their lives. Heffy's being hypnotised as we Hef speak. Heffy's being hypnotised and Heffy and sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He likes it, bless he's, him. He's missing us recently, all he wants is a bit of cuddles, don't you? You also want cuddles. Cuddles and tickles. Cuddles and tickles. Go on, mate. So, guys, this evening we are coming to you because we want to talk to you guys this evening about plateaus. All right. And now I've got my things. yeah, I've got my flat things. I've got my laptop set up here so that just in case um, anyone asks any questions or anything, you can see us. We can see it. And also, we had a few people say that they didn't like the fact that our t-shirts were back to front. So you can see our t-shirts. I have Thundercats on this evening. Wolf Jack Ski. That's a bit boring. It's cold. What have we got on underneath? Batman. Batman. <clears throat> Batman, definitely. Um, so. What is a plateau? Right, so we're going to talk to you about plateaus, okay? The thing is, guys, how many of you guys have had plateaus? And do, how many of you guys do you think plateaus are bad? Well, it, it's frustrating, right? So mm. you're losing weight, you're doing really well, perhaps you've lost a few pounds and you've been going down the gym and everything's been going really cool, but then something Shit. happens and everything stops, like point blank. And what's going on? You get frustrated, you know, nothing's moving, nothing's happening. And, you know... Ah! But how many of you guys... You, hit, you reach your plateau and you keep doing the same thing thinking you're going to move to the next level. I'm still training hard, I'm still eating hard, but nothing's shifting. No. Because the reason why, I might be jumping ahead, the reason why nothing's shifting, can I say this or not? What are you going to say? You can do, but it is kind of like... I'm going to keep studying. It's almost like you've just two pumps and then you're done. <laughs> that's a result, isn't it? That's, that's me done, I like that. <laughs> two pumps work. Anyway. So what we're talking about here is plateaus, but as Barry was quite eloquently See, I, going to put it, what was it you were going to say? The plateau, basically, if you keep trying to do the same thing and you're reaching here, nothing is moving... It's because you've exhausted everything you've done to get to that level. So that is what a plateau is. You, you've exhausted all your skill set to there. And that skill set will not be married over to that to get you to the next level. doesn't matter how much you do of that skill set here. It's never, ever going to move this plateau, is it? No. And here's the thing, right? There's two people when it comes to a plateau, okay? Two people. The first one, okay, is the digger. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, the second one is the climber. <laughs> okay, so the first one, okay, we know that when we get to a plateau, we've reached a level playing ground, okay? Nothing's moving. So the first one is the climber, okay? And the climber, no, the first one is the digger. Oh my digger. God, it's been a long day. It's been long. The digger. The first one is the digger, right? Digger Stanley. Now, the digger, okay worries they fret they get anxious they start to panic they start to question their own abilities okay and they start to do the same thing over 
and over and over again, which we all know is a definition of... Insanity. Exactly. And they keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, doing the same thing. How many of you guys do that, though? Yeah, ultimately, digging yourself into a rut. Hence, we call them the diggers. That's what the digger is. Dave says hi. No, Dave said say it. I thought I said say hi. You need new glasses. I do. <laughs> hi, Dave. <laughs> that is what the digger does, okay? They fret, they worry, they get anxious. They believe that nothing will ever change. And they do the same thing. They'll do the same workout routine. They'll do the same um, eating plan. They'll just do the same thing over and over again. And they'll expect a different result. But they get the same thing okay that's exactly what they get 100 percent, guys and I, I can guarantee i've done it loz has done it we've all done it you keep trying you push harder in the gym but you're doing the same routine you're eating the same foods you shifted the weight or you've got fitter depending on what your goals are and you've reached that level it halters so what do we need to do well the thing is the nine, nine times out of ten if you're a digger okay i would say is because one you're in fear, okay? Change. Fear of change and fear of maybe if I push my body, will I injure myself, okay? And the second thing is you are too well in your comfort zone. You are not pushing out your comfort zone. You're not trying something new. You're staying safe. You haven't got the thinking of a climber. Now, the climber notices that this is a plateau and they go, ah, this is a plateau. Awesome. They expect it. Whereas a digger, they don't expect it. They just la, 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 carry on and then bam, it hits them in the face. Whereas a climber expects this plateau. Diggers bury their head in the sand. A climber will actually look up, appreciate that the plateau has become because they see plateaus as a positive thing. It's a time for learning. It's a time for growth. Because when you get to the plateau, we need to start looking around and start looking for new things and different things to do to challenge ourselves to move us to the next level. Exactly. Okay? So we've got Dave Burton on, and I know Dave is a runner, okay? So um, if Dave wants to break his marathon time, he's not going to do the same training all the time. He needs to push a little bit harder. And it's exactly the same with you guys. So when it comes to your food, if you've been eating the same amounts, you may need to drop it a little bit. You may need to increase your cardio. You may need to push a little bit longer. You may need to do some more reps or whatever it is. But the climber will understand that this is a plateau, right? And the climber actually likes this, right? Baz and I are climbers. We love it when we hit a plateau because we know we are going to be reaching something extra we know that there's something good happening yeah. whereas a digger will think that's their lot that's the way life has got to be and that is it for them and the thing is you can't just sit back and not do anything because that's just going to make you feel crap in yourself and it's going to make the rut worse when you're a climber you think outside the box you start looking for people who are where you want to be or you get your head in the books and start reading and start educating yourself or you start listening to us and we will help you out on your journey. But the best thing is to do is role model. Find someone who's done your journey before and they are at the next level. See what they've done and how they've did, done it. And did we it, can, how they've done, did it. How they do it. And then you start mirroring and start copying what they're doing. Or did it, or done it, or how they've done it. <laughs> yeah? So we need to start looking outside the box. Rather than burying our head in the sand and thinking, why is life happening to me? Because life is doesn't life doesn't happen to you, life happens for you. It's how you see the world. A lot of people there are saying, "I can't do this. I can't do that. Why can't I get to the gym? Why can't I stick to the meal plan?" It's because you choose to do that. It's you choose to behave that way. We need to start looking up, looking outwards, and seeing what this world offers us, and start challenging ourselves. If you want something, you need to. Be a climber, guys, at the end of the day. So Dave says, I'm a digger, but I'm working towards being a climber. Great description. So Dave, here's the thing, right? You are actually a climber in disguise of a digger, all right? Because I know you, you always push further and further. But here's the thing, we so like to... Put the, put the 
Oh, this one. Keep going. What, you plugging in? Maybe you turned it on. Oh, did not turn it on? Oops. So here's the thing. We like to think that we're a climber, right? And we think, yeah, you know, I, I push hard. But in actual fact, we are diggers because we fret, we worry, and we get anxious about where we are now. We spend our life like this rather than looking out and upwards. And if you are a digger, I would say I would definitely be getting you to A, look at your comfort zone because I bet you're not pushing it, like really pushing it on a consistent and persistent basis. If you want to change, you have to change something. You cannot do the same thing over and over again. Okay, I'm gonna take my jacket off and get it hot. You have to change things it's up. Hard work to get in there. <laughs> I'm changing it up, guys. I'm gonna change the pace now and it's gonna get a lot quicker and a lot more full on. But that's the thing, guys. If you're a digger, you will be doing the same thing and asking the questions, why aren't I losing weight? Why aren't I, why aren't I losing weight? That's really bad English, isn't it? Why am I not losing weight? You, you'll be asking Divorian's these sorts of questions. Out. Yeah, the Divorian's coming out of me. You'll be asking these sorts of questions. Why is it not happening to me? Why can I never do this? Why is this impossible? You'll be asking all these questions, why? Why, 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 why? Now, the climber asks, how can I? What does it take? When can I? What is it about that? They will ask different sorts of questions and you can see by asking those different sorts of questions, it will change your focus. You say, right, how can I do this better? How can I make sure I can get today better than it was yesterday? How can I make sure that I do get those extra 10 reps out? Or how can I make sure that I do cut 30 seconds off my time? Rather than saying, why can't I cut 30 seconds off my time? Why can't I waste, you know, let's get these guys to do it. Uh, guys, you guys are listening now. Ask a question saying, why can't I? Just see how it fits in your head and see how it feels, okay? Why can't I lose the weight or why can't I run that length of time or whatever it is, why can't I? And just see how it feels and see how it sits with you. Now ask the question in your mind, how can I? How can I lose the weight or how can I run this time? And just see and feel how it feels in your brain and see how your brain starts working for you. The questioning is the key to all your answers. If you ask a shit question, you will get a shit answer back. If you ask a quality question, you will get a quality answer back. It's so Questions, questions, questions are so important to how we live our life because you can have a that question, why can't I get to the gym? Or you can ask, how can I exercise and make it fun? Mm, exactly. Quality of the questions determine the quality of the answers, which determine the quality of your life. And also, that will determine whether you're a digger or whether you're a climber. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, the other thing on that is, you know, we are all slightly in fear of change. Some of us embrace it, but some of us are in fear of it because it's the unknown. Okay, but again, it's asking those questions and mm. reassuring yourself that in actual fact, this change is good and this change is going to help you and this change is going to set you free. So it's being able to embrace that and to do something each day that pushes you out of your comfort zone. So you're here and you push that little bit further and you push that little bit further and you push that little bit further. And as you keep pushing, you keep pushing, you work that muscle. Just like every other muscle in our body, our brain is a muscle as well, guys. Repetition so is mother of all skills. Mother of all so skills. So you need to look at whether you are a digger, okay, or whether you are a climber. And the first thing to look at is which one am I? Because when you look at which one you are in honesty, then you can understand where you are and the type of person you are. If you're a digger, then you can say, how can I become a climber? What would a climber do that I'm not doing? How would a climber see this? How would a climber approach this? What kind of questions would the climber ask? What kind of mindset does a climber take? Right, it's about having that conscious control around this issue, and it's about asking those different questions. And if, if, even as you sit here and you listen to us, and you're, you're, you know, sort of listening to these questions, notice how they sit within you. How 
when you start to ask those different questions, it actually starts to, you know, sort of break off into different areas and it feels a bit different in your body. It gives you hope. It gives you something that you can aim for. But I think you've picked up on if you you need to mirror yourself. So find someone who inspires you. The person that you want to be, the person that you look up to and see what they do differently to you. OK, because I can guarantee the person you you want to role model, you want to be, you want to act like, you want to behave like, I bet you they are a climber and they are thinking outside the box. So just watch what they do, see how they do it and mirror them. It's been done for you already. You don't even have to think about it. You just say, right, they're doing that. I'm going to do what they're doing. Hey, presto, let's see where the results go. But you have to make that change yourself. You have to put the energy into it. You have to put the effort into it and you have to ask the right questions. How can I? Rather than being what I call sedentary questions. Why me? Definitely. And be a victim. Don't be a victim, guys, because it's you've got one life and we are here to make your lives better. Do you know, we enjoy were, your life. We were interviewing Simon Harmer, whose podcast is out on Wednesday, actually. And um, he had both his legs... Um, he lost both his legs, basically, to uh, an IED that exploded underneath him. And um, he, he spoke, was speaking to us about the question, why me? He was speaking to us about that statement, why me? And he said he thought about this statement for a long time. And he thought about, okay, what does that mean, why me? And he come to the conclusion this. If you say, why me? Do you believe or think that it should happen to somebody else? Now that's something quite strong to contemplate there. If you're saying why me, does it mean that you it should happen to somebody else? And I thought that was a really poignant thing, especially when we are stuck, we tend to think why me? Here's a better saying, try me. Try me. Bosh. You see the difference. Climber, try me. Digger, why me? You see the distinct differences between those two there, guys, mm. okay? So I really want you to think about this. If you are stuck, are you a digger or are you a climber? Okay, guys? And that's that's, um, that's, that's what cool. to think about. Yeah. So that's plateaus, right, okay, guys? So if you're stuck, have a think. Look at where you are. Start to bring consciousness to what's going on. Don't just let it happen and whinge and moan about it. Catch mm. it. Catch it in that moment. Use that consciousness. It's so important. Conscious control is so important. Definitely. The more control we've got over our conscious behaviour, the more likely we are to um, succeed in our, in our goals. Definitely. Conscious so control. Grab that. Am I a digger? Am I a climber? If you're a digger, fine. Admit to it. Man up to it. And embrace it and ask the different questions. How can I be a climber? What would a climber do? What would they say? What would they think? What would they feel? And use that, guys. Use it, okay? Now, when it comes to Wednesday, we're going to be live here again at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Um, if you like our little room, by the way, then give us a give us a love heart or, you know, give us a like. Let us know that this We've is a good careful. setting for We've you. We've got to be careful, guys, because... These are so comfy. comfy. Definitely, definitely. And also, I'm, I'm quite aware that I need to put the camera up more because basically we can just see your crotch. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, um, we've got the didgeridoos and we've got the snowboards. So, um, crystal ball. And we've got the crystal ball here. Yeah. And we've got the big cat stand in the corner as well. So, so Wednesday, um, we are going to be talking, I've got my schedule here. We're going to be talking about you don't know until you try. Mm. What you say you can't do, but you actually haven't tried it, okay? And I'm going to be talking to you guys how I discovered um, I could do push-ups on my knuckles and I didn't even know I could do it. So we're going to talk to you about that live at 7 o'clock with Lord and Lady Ash at... Uh, on here on our business page. Um, with, 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 give me, give me an L, Loz. L. How do you do your L's? It's my L. <laughs> That's a J. L's go that way. It's an L. <laughs> I got dyslexia. <laughs> Shut up, you. Um, Ursula says 
she's definitely a digger, something to work on. Yes, and Ursula, if you haven't caught all of this, what's happened, then I want you to go back and look at it because we're going to give you, we've given you the questions to make you look at yourself yeah. like a climber. Because but in actual fact, Ursula, you are a climber, it's just that you don't realise it. But the good thing there, Ursula, is you've, you've said, yep, that's me. And that's the first port of call. As soon as you go, yep, yeah, that's me, you've got conscious control. You've got conscious awareness of what you're doing, and that's when you can change. It's when you're in denial and you say, no, it's everybody else's fault. It's nothing to do with me why my life's so shit at the moment. Is That's when nothing happens. You need to take ownership of it, which is awesome stuff. Well done. Definitely. Good stuff. Okay, guys, look, have a fantastic evening. We'll be back on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. You don't know until you try. Wednesday. Um, yes, definitely. Uh, seven. 7. God, we'll see you then. I'm down with the homies. <laughs>